Right guys, I'm back and this is the Red Room 7th and thank you again for joining me today but let's jump into the video shall we and today we are going to be working on the spawner so uh, guys, you might have noticed I'm not on the snapshot and I'll explain that as soon as the video is uh, started so join me in a second Right guys, so the first part of this video is to go and collect a lot of sand. Just because I'm going to work with a lot of glass today and I want to do something pretty crazy with it. But um, yeah, so we're going to need to grab quite a bit of sand and smelt it all down into glass. So let's just grab what we have. Yeah, quite a lot actually. Uh, that sounds good. I know we got bits and pieces lying around everywhere. Let's go and put this into the furnace while we go and plant a little bit more. Right, let's just grab some coal as well. Oh, nice, travel over a coal on here and the smell them. So, go put these into them furnaces. Yeah. Right. <coughs> so, the idea I have today is to build basically a mob sorting system. So what I want to do, I want to be able to bring them down there just because we're going to be able to name mobs pretty soon. I want to find a way to turn in zombies. Yeah, turn in zombies into workers, pretty much. So, we're gonna try and do this. Uh, it might go wrong, it might go horribly wrong, but we've got enough levels and stuff like that now just to mess around with uh, different things. So, I have a weapon and the packs are done. I don't really enchant anything else. We got a shovel, which is. Pretty much done. The only thing I can think about elsewise is some armor, which would be nice to be able to die with the waist anymore. So, we're gonna have to go cave in pretty soon, but I think I'm gonna do that off camera from now on. Maybe make an episode of Verma, which would be handy, but we better go and run and get some sand. It's gonna be working a lot at this point today. I think this will basically take the most part of the video, so, uh, I'm not sure how yet he's gonna sort them though. But I know if you put a cat up there, which you haven't actually got, but if you put a cat up there, you can sort the creepers when it comes. Ah. Wait, that's fine. Yeah, go get some sand. I don't know what I was doing. Let's see a creeper there. But um, yeah, I know if you put a cat and sort the creepers, they run away. Um, Villager, so the zombies go to the front you could have them on the opposite side. Just um, use them to sort of stronger zombies. And the stealth is going to be a problem. They're not attracting anything that we know of. So keep the stealth and go down to the middle. That would mean we'd have to have a platform for them to stand on. Hmm, I'm not too sure. I've got a little idea going, but it takes quite a lot of distance. So I'll work on this uh, off camera, obviously, to just make it as perfect as I possibly can. This episode is going to take a long time to make, so if you uh, are a video maker yourself, you'll understand. So uh, just check a little comment down below just to cheer my spirits. Go on, guys. And um, I have gone from the last snapshot, I was on the snapshot, dog shot downstairs, but um, I was on the snapshot and I was getting some horses, so um, yeah, I was basically there and I don't know what really happened, I, I couldn't render my video, that's what it was, yeah, I was having problems so I just com completely converted back over to this uh, 1.5.2 Minecraft just because I couldn't make any videos, so um, yeah, we're back on this, which I don't, I don't really mind. I, I like this one a little bit better. I like having my texture back and everything. So let's just grab one more stack of sand. Put our 13 up to a stack, I'm sure. Let's just do this. That sandstone, we don't want that. And I have been working on something. I want to make a cow farm. Because I've been messing around with the pixel art on my creative world. I 
and I think they'd be pretty cool as well. Like the image of a cow and then the bottom of the roof and then like the sorting area by the side. I could do that, so um, yeah, something to work on. And I also want to find a villager zombie. I know they spawn rarer than normal zombies, but if I can find one, I'm gonna start brewing the purification potions. If I can, if I have the right equipment. But um, yeah, I'll basically like, bring them into the house, set them in their own little area, and uh, try and purify them, I guess, into normal. Oh, but um, yeah, purify them into normal zombie. So yeah. Straight forward, straight forward. I didn't even bother with the nomad, there's nothing here, okay? Right, so the zombies, I want them to just flock to him. There you go. So he's going down, he's, he's ready for him. Skeleton, uh, that could be a little bit of a problem, he could want to go in there. The Both of them are going in. So this is working well so far. So we have the zombies sorted out, we can drop them to any location we want, uh, whatever. All right. So now it's just sorting out the creepers and skeletons. So if I put a cat somewhere, like uh, if I put a, say a cat by here, let me just uh, make a little platform for him first, like this. There we go. Uh, put a ocelot, ocelot in there, and I also need that glass back. So there we go. Thank you. Hopefully the cats will be, no, the creepers will be scared of him and run away, but it doesn't look like that happens anymore, I don't know why. Hmm, has there been anything else given over here? No. So that's okay, this is working well so far. So maybe it's just train cats they're afraid of? Let's just push them out for now. Bad, bad. So let's have a look at this a lot. We also need some defense marks. I'm getting hurt from the creepers so. and skeletons and stuff like that. People get on the way. Go. Right, so we will try and tame this cat. We cook fish food, I think. No, just fish. There we go. No one wants to sell fish. Hopefully, we can tame this guy pretty soon. Um, Good to know that we have all the zombies sorted out. Then try to kill this guy again. Come on, buddy. Oh, 
2064 get into label to check if it's this man. Come on buddy, eat some fish. Oh I want you to. It's gonna take some time I can bet. Well I'm gonna cut back when I've got the skeletons and people sorted up guys, so I'll be back in just a sec. Right well, guys, I'm back and as you might be able to tell from my voice and other things. Um, this is a different day recording than my uh, last little segment thing. I was working on the mob system. I went straight into two centers and I didn't know which one to pick, okay? I do like her a lot, so there you go. Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna work on something else. I've been uh, away for a little while. If you've watched my Eating Lab speedup, you'll know my, I've had a little bit of uh, computer problems, but that's all gonna be sorted soon. So, um, Hopefully we will just be able to carry on. I do want to do something, but I'm going to explain myself first. Okay. Alright guys, look at me. I hate it. Yep, I hate it. The thing behind me, that, is so slow to get up. And I really dislike you guys. I mean, I hate that thing. I don't even know why I built it out. I might just, you know, tear it down and use it for resources, but um, I was thinking that I could use my TNT do the exact same thing but with stairs. Like, uh, build a spiral up, so we'll have to go check where that is. Build a spiral up, and basically, like, put stairs in it. Make it look all cute and nice with all the glass and things like that. And, um, will be another feature to our humble abode. So, um, yeah. That is something we should be looking forward to. But I'm gonna go and go up to the spawner for a second. I was just up there. I uh, while the computer's been playing up, I've been like standing up there, enchanting books and stuff, and uh, enchanting iron, iron armor and stuff like that. And uh, it hasn't been fun, but I've been playing, you know, like just going to throw it on the side while trying to get my computer to work. But uh, yeah. I'm gonna go up there now and just test everything out. I don't know, I'm in the recording mood today, so hopefully we get quite a few done today and if anything does happen to my computer, um, we should be covered for a few episodes. I'll probably upload them in advance so that I at least have one every day. I'm hoping to get about three out today. So uh, this channel's back, hopefully you won't have missed it too much or have unsurprised or anything, but yes, we're almost there. Almost got this computer which can just render out this amazing project that we have going so um yeah I'm gonna run up there now and see if we have any gunpowder I'll cut back when I'm up there to uh, show you all the books and stuff so I'll be back in a second guys right guys I'm back up here and I have soldered my stuff out into the chest but it's not very organized at the minute so this is all the stuff, oh I need to take that back, this is all the stuff that I get from this spawner, I mean like all the gunpowder and you know, uh, iron, armor and stuff like that. This is the ones I'm enchanting at the minute, but I have a lot of books as well, like uh, Fisher D3, Respiration 3, Thorns 2, Feather Falling, Power, Smite, Respiration, Efficiency, Unbreaking, all this kind of junk. I like enchanting books, because you, know, you get a lot more stuff done. We can just be, it's much easier just doing it this way as well guys but um yeah we're looking for the gunpowder we don't really have that much up here i think i've taken most of it down to the house because i normally just kill them there and i'll get it over with but why aren't they spawning oh, that might be why i did just jump into my creative world just because i was out uh, building the cow again so um oh, wait you might not have seen the cow have i showed you guys the cow that i'm working on hmm, i think i should show you right now no maybe not um uh, I could do. But right now I want to just uh, work to a get the coordinates I need for where we're going to build the circle thing. The uh, circle staircase to the new entrance. So let me just try to find the to do it. I was trying to do it on every jump. I don't know if you can tell or not. But. Let's run over here. And yeah guys, if you haven't yet, check out my Ethos speed play thing. Um, we did 22 levels in half an hour and I tried to compete with that, but it weren't working too well. Uh, I did get like 23 levels in the end, it's just, it was a bit over half an hour, so it wasn't a good idea. 
But um, right, so let me just think about the roof of our house. Where is the place where so we could go? It's over there. Where? Over this direction. Hmm. I mean, one thing to do something with this land around here. It's just I haven't known what yet. Um, I was thinking about building like a massive dome or something, but I'm still not sure. And is this the area? Um, hmm. We'd have to think because uh, we couldn't just like just randomly start destroying stuff because that might ruin our house a little bit. Actually, let's just go and test it right now. Have right, you got any redstone sticks over there? I just need the answer, actually. Redstone over here. We'll just check over there, and if we have, I'll go and grab some. But um, yeah. So we're gonna try and build this stuff up right now. There we go. And spiral staircase. So let's see how much area we have to work with above this. Oh, it looks like it's just gonna be solid rock above that. So we're hoping for no water, no water patches. Let's just do one right for there for now. Time being, the back will blow up and we can carry on working on. Something tells me we're gonna need a lot of TNT as well. Right, should we pull on right from there? Dash and blow up that one up. Ah, there you go. That's better, I like it. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit steep because I think we're gonna blow into the um, actual house. Hopefully it doesn't blow up that area up or any of there. We're going to have to curve around pretty fast, I think. We might have to build a little bit as well, like an actual bridge. So, um, let's just do like that. Knock that back down. And obviously I'm going to go around and smooth this place out. Yeah, so that's uh, what that's looking like. <sighs> I think we have to build this a little bit by here, but if I just do this, you can get the general idea of what we're doing, so... There we go. And it's a good thing we collected all that clean stone when we were uh, had that silk touch pickaxe, because this would be impossible without it. We're going to have to build so much more of a floor. To make it look nice. There we go. And it looks like we're past the point where we will destroy the floor. Um, this is kind of be like the spiral staircase that I meant. But with stairs, so it's a lot faster and more gold that we need to beat Fear. And guys, I think me and Fear are on a new terms. Um, because I've been going at this a little bit uh, longer than he is, longer than he has. Um, I think we're going to try and go for growth because he's got one more subscriber than me and I'm a jealous type guys, nah, I'm not jealous, I'm um, competitive but um, yeah hopefully we can just have a race to I don't know like 10 subscribers so if you are watching this link into the video uh, just hit that subscribe button down below it doesn't matter if you haven't got an account just, you know just want to make fun but um yeah, I'm always happy to see a new subscriber. I always do check out your channel, guys. So, if you want a game um, viewer, I guess that is me. So, um, yeah, and I'm always open to working with new partners as well, guys. So, you know, uh, subscribe. But um, other than that, guys, not really much to touch on. It's just that we are having a competition. So, uh, yeah, be on my side, and hopefully we win. So let's just carry on building this for the time being. Oh damn. Gotta stop doing that. But um yeah. So I think I'm gonna finish this off off camera and um maybe talk to you in the next episode. So this has been the Red Run 7th. I hope you enjoy guys. Uh I'm out.